okay you can specify the uh, you can specify the uh, the default value also right so this is a I, iot bank uh, so statement bank statement it looks like this one okay iot bank and a branch so these things and all so this like this you have a multiple bank data okay suppose for example this is a, another file it has a uh, another bank as a bank with the uh, some number okay bank with the some number okay if i open this one so this is a tvm bank understand tvm bank if I open this one, it is uh, like a Kochi, right? Kochi branch. And the data is different, like the data is different. This is the access for you. Uh, this is the account number. This is a, okay. okay. So basically, what you need to do you can remove the row also remove remove data row remove data column so you can just drag and drop the remove row you, can, you have to specify the index so in the data table so which index you want to remove so if you specify the zero it will remove the from the zero index you have to specify the data table and the index so okay so first for two means it will remove the second row so remove data column also is there okay now so what is the exercise here you have a this this type of uh, excels are there okay. this type of excels are there so excel has uh, uh, so what basically the basically what you have to do you have to create a new excel with the sheet name right suppose for example this is a folder output folder here you have to create a folder like a uh, Kochi branch the branch names so where it is getting the car branch name Kochi branch Kochi branch okay so and what is the what is the other other excel other excel has a Trivandrum branch happen basically you just create a data so okay so like this okay some just uh, dummy data and uh, and the thing is so you have to create a, uh, a new folder with the branch name the branch name is coming from this uh, what is it a5 a5 the branch name is coming from the a5 a5 and uh, okay so and within the branch so you have to create a uh, folder like so the sheet name okay this is a sheet name right sheet name sheet name folder you have to create that is a date uh, duration basically duration understand the sheet name how can you get the sheet name so you you know right your workbook uh, uh, get workbook sheets so okay so or the output of the workbook uh, is uh, that mean output of the excel application scope is a workbook so workbook dot sheets means it will give the sheets and within the sheet you have to create a one new excel file that excel file is a uh, like a final underscore uh, final data underscore okay, underscore the sheet name again final data underscore sheet name again okay Got it? Final data underscore sheet name. So what is there within that Excel sheet? That Excel sheet uh, should have this data. Okay. The thing is here the number of records may change. Okay. It's not standard, so it, it may increase. So you don't know where is the end point here, the uh, end point. Okay. So if you if it's a static, you can uh, read from the A17 colon and uh, so G. 32 but g is a common g is a standard a is a standard 
but the number you have to specify that's a17 is common and uh, let me open why oh, it is not opening okay let me create a sheet here okay so this is a so the data is the points not on the points here first uh, thing is a uh, copy data from so basically you have to copy this one to this okay so we need like this data and the first extracted the data the thing is extract the uh, transaction data from statement okay the first one you have to extract the second one is a, a remove first row that is empty row this one is a empty row right you have to remove this one you know right remove data table is there remove and first data table uh, first row the next one so next one is uh, like a you have to uh, yeah you have to add three so you have to add new columns like a uh, account number so and this account number so is a common for all okay this account number is common for all understand this is a account number common for all so this account number you have to fetch from this one okay so you don't know where the account number is here you can loop or you can specify that uh, uh, any any operation so that's your choice what you have to take that which activity and uh, you have to split the account number from this whole text okay so account number is a standard this word is a standard you can directly specify the account number while you are adding the data row uh, and this value should come from this one okay and the same way the customer id okay this is also common for all okay you have to create this this number this whole thing and send to the particular person so okay so what you can do so if if it is a so this thing so just create your own excel so so make that as a branch uh, basically branch uh, so branch name and branch head uh, head email id okay so this is the three columns you have in the separate master data so tvm branch has a head is a upendra okay upendra logo so okay you just dot i t dot at gmail dot com you just specify your mail id is here so a few mail id is suppose kochi branch is a like a uh charan okay so charan dot uh, i t at gmail.com some some dot console so basically so this is a master excel so you have a master excel so what is the next step so once you remove add uh, new column new uh, add new account number column that is a, another thing and uh, fill and fill account number and next one is a so same thing add customer customer uh, id column and fill customer id okay the fifth one is a just you have to uh, you have to basically uh, search search the corresponding uh, branch head email id okay. and send the excel to the that person okay so six one understand this is excess do you have any uh, questions here okay so i'm just
ਆਈਟੀ ਨਾਈਨ ਆਓ ਯੂ ਫਿਲ ਦਾ ਜੀ